Hi, it's Katie. There you go, Robbie. Jenny. And we are here at Club Apple, and we are going to take a look, do a little walk through. We are upstairs, and we are in day two. Day two. Day All two. The equipment's out, and it's being put together. Uh, the new stuff's being put together in the back lot, and should start coming in the next few hours. Awesome. So this place looks so different, um, and it will give you guys a sneak peek of what it looks like right now and kind of walk through and tell you what you can expect when you come back on Friday. So we're so excited. It looks so amazing. Um, not necessarily right now, but it's fun to see like everything gone and everything that they have that they are putting together. We have got some great stuff, and so this kind of really makes it all real. Yep. That and we, we are... annihilated the dust bunnies. It's so clean we up clean here. Clean under everything. And so. everything. It is just immaculate up here right now. So I'm gonna go. Let's see. Where do we flip this around? I don't know if you can flip it around. I think we can. Can you? There Sweet. we go. All right. So this is our cardio area. space between the cardio equipment. We've got a few less pieces than what we had before. We dedicated that, uh, that extra equipment in the weight room because that's more heavily used now than the cardio. So this should have a more open feel up here compared to how it used to be. With The equipment was packed in here pretty tight. It was. It was. One of the big things in cardio that people are going to love is we had four of the free motion incline trainers that go to 30%. Yes. Like so hard to get off. Everybody loves those. That's In fact, that's been one of the questions I've had over and over again. Will we have those still? Those and more. We had four. We're going to 10. There'll be six upstairs now instead of four. So we increase our capacity by two. And then we're uh, putting four in the one that's on the That's so exciting. That's so exciting. All right. And then we step right over here, and it looks like our cycling studio is bare. Yep, everything's out of the cycling studio. It's so great to be able to see. Oh, my gosh. We've got here, and we're going to fill it. It will be filled. Yep. Everything that's empty right now will be filled soon. And that's what's really exciting about it, because watching the process yesterday of them taking everything out of here, it was quite the process. Oh, how much stuff we have. <laughs> back here we're going to uh, double it we'll have two now one will be a power rack the other one a smith machine style and then look at none of this there's no equipment here yeah this is where the whole life of this line was we replaced every piece in that a few of the more popular pieces we've doubled up on i think the leg press and maybe the back extension uh but if they were heavily used we went ahead and doubled them oh nice all right and then we head back over at this. I mean, it looks so strange, but it's all immaculate out over here. It's so strange seeing it so empty. And then our Pilates studio, we did the upgrade in here a while back, and we put in our new reformers, which you can now stand up so that you can either use them on the floor um, or stand them up out of the way. Oh. Uh, High-end Pilates studio. My body studio is what it is. It's in Pilates because that's what it was for years, but we've expanded it into melt and bar. Uh, everybody gets a free trial. If you want to come try it, come on in. Pretty much brand new equipment in here. Let's too. see what we look out this window, oh, this and you can see them together, um, putting together all of our new equipment, <laughs> unpacking it all. Because this is quite the process. I've had so many people... Um, ask like why can't we do it section by section or why can't we do it like faster and I think people just I mean maybe now that we're kind of showing all these pictures and people are realizing what a big turnaround this yeah, is yeah. they can realize this isn't something we can do little by little yeah. it all had to come out and be cleaned in order for it to be set up for all of this brand new stuff coming in yeah, plus you can't just order uh, a few pieces at a time these companies um, send it all out at once. That's their crew that they send with it. So, you know, if we split it into, you know, three different projects, you know, they'd have to drive out here three times. They're just not going to do that. So it's going to be worth the wait. Three or four days of club closure. All the stuff's going to be in there. Some of that's going to start coming in here in the next few hours. You watch. I'm glad it didn't rain while they were setting it. I know. Actually, that's one thing I was thinking. Like, it's been amazing the weather that we've had. And it's, so it's been perfect to make this transition really good for everybody um, who's working on it. Weight room, um, some stuff will be scooted together to make room for new equipment. We are keeping 
and some of the more popular equipment, the hammer strength pieces, but we did get a few, uh, rid of a few that were not heavily used. Oh, and for the ladies, we moved one of the booty builders into the women's only. Oh, nice. So you'll have a booty builder down there now. Right, because that's there. another thing we have gotten a lot of feedback. And like this whole process has shown me how much the owners and the directors like yourself and Ray and Steve and Brad listen to the members' feedback. You know, like, oh, I love the booty builder, but why isn't there one yeah, down in the... I mean, and how many clubs come in and put a million dollars of equipment in their club every, I think the last one we did was 2014, so was that, almost nine years ago. Uh, you know, we don't let it get old. Uh, we want the latest and the greatest. We see Steve's commitment to that now. So, <laughs> weight room, uh, uh, some, of, some of the equipment will still be here, like the benches, uh, but we made room for some of the new stuff, especially cages. Cages are very popular. Uh, the power racks are we've done. We're going to have two that have big platforms on them where you can deadlift and then uh, don't drop the weights hard though. And then uh, we'll have the uh, Smith style cages as well. I think we we had one before, we're gonna go to two here. Uh, but hopefully we actually end up with a little bit more floor space out of it too. That was part of the plan too. It was kind of busy in here. It was yeah. Just, you know, the equipment was close together, we had a lot of equipment. Um, so hopefully all our plans come out right. We actually end up with a little more floor space, which makes it easier to do you know, functional training. You know, stuff on the floor and everything was kind of hard to find floor space before. Right. And that's another thing. I mean, just bringing it back to listening to the feedback, taking into account what the members want and need, trying to create more space for them or utilize the space that we have so they can come in and have a more functional workout. And it just doesn't seem as congested as it had before. <laughs> well, you don't know until you get it all back in. But. Well, we are all really excited around here. And thanks, Robbie, for taking us on like a little tour. And we just wanted to give the members an update so they can see that we are not just closed to be closed, that we really are moving stuff around and making big changes in here. So, so they should be able to come back in on Friday, right? That's the plan. That's the plan. Go well Friday, you come back in. And as and far as it is today, Tuesday afternoon, it looks like they're on track. They're doing a really great job. Okay, thanks guys. I'll just take you around a little bit more here. So you can see Brad and Adam have been up here. I think they've been kind of working on like the logistics and the layout. Um, so it really has been like an all hands on deck transition. Um, just making the Ray. So there's Ray, we have things like roped off so you can still come in and take classes up here in studio two the classes are still open in studio one and studio two um, the pools are still open steam room saunas hot tubs um, but when you guys come back on friday you'll come back to a whole bunch of brand new beautiful clean stuff and we can't wait for you guys to see it thanks guys